it's Jobs Reports Friday. So today we're talking about the labor market and what has changed, and I'm gonna give you some takeaways that are important to you. Once again, my name is Dr. A. I'm an economist at the Hale College of Business at Northern Kentucky University. And this channel, I work with students to help tell economic stories that impact you on a personal level. So if you like this stuff, make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with a friend. So here's the labor market recap. The first thing we need to talk about is the jobs openings um, that are available. Job openings fell to 8.8 million jobs openings. That's roughly 1.51 jobs for every unemployed individual. That number has been falling. We want to get to a target of 1.1 to 1.2 jobs per unemployed individual. This might reduce the pressure for the Fed to keep on increasing interest rates. So we're heading towards that. but. This is really a bad take for people looking for jobs. There is going to be less jobs available out there. The other thing I want to talk about is labor force participation rates, specifically for women at the age of 16 to 64, so prime working age individuals. What we have seen is in July, labor force participation rate for this segment of the economy reached its highest level. During the pandemic, that uh, that rate fell to 68.3% and now it is up to 73.1%, highest level we've experienced. This is a good sign because labor force participation for women fell drastically during the pandemic as childcare cost increased and childcare availability diminished. The reality of it is the burden of the pandemic fell mostly on women to take care of the household and this took them out of the labor market. So we're seeing a change there with more women entering the labor force again. All right, so now to the jobs report data. Unemployment rate came in at 3.8% for August. In July, that number was 3.5%. So we're seeing the unemployment rate increase, which is a good sign for uh, the Federal Reserve that is trying to slow down the labor market and reduce inflationary pressure. We've got a ways to go to what we call the natural rate of unemployment, but these are all good signs for all of us that are worried about how fast interest rates are growing in the economy. We also added 187,000 new jobs. Yes, 187,000 new jobs most of them coming in in the healthcare industry and the leisure and hospitality industry. These two industries keep on growing in the economy. They've been doing so for the past uh, several months. Finally, when it comes to wage growths, we've seen an increase of 0.2% in the past month in the average wage. Today, the average wage is 33.82%. 0.2% does not sound like a lot, but that is roughly 4.3% over the past 12 months. So we're still seeing wage growth in the, in the labor market. Good for employees, um, a little bit worrisome for the, for the Federal Reserve. So good numbers for the labor market. The labor market still remains hot. Some signs of slowing down, uh, but nothing to worry about right now more data points coming towards this soft landing uh, approach that the Federal Reserve has been talking about. So, so far, so good. That's the labor market update for you. If you've enjoyed this or found it valuable, please like, share, and subscribe um, to this channel. Thank you. See you all next time.